A major AEW All-In match is being discussed. Plus, an AEW star reacts to some creative criticism and a tag team receives a cease and desist from an adult film company. It's all in the wrestling news right now. AEW All-In is about four weeks away. Let's go through the card. That's it. However, there's a match being discussed, isn't there, Andrew? <laughs> yeah, so this comes from Fightful Select. Um, IWGP United States Champion Will Ospreay is being planned and is expected to wrestle in his home country of England at AEW All In. The match currently being planned, however, isn't a rematch with Kenny Omega. What? what? However, Fightful were told by New Japan Pro Wrestling sources that the plan relayed to them in July was Osprey competing in a match against Chris Jericho. We're told Don Callis is factored into the equation somehow, but we're unsure of which side he'll be on. Just give us a match. <laughs> give us anything. I mean, to be fair, I'm doing them a great disservice. They've only had a year! That sounded like LA and I. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's... I'm annoyed that we're at this point and there's not even a, 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 an indica a tickle of anything. It's it's a weird one considering, as you said, there's been a, there's been a year since its announcement and and the sort of you know the the build towards this huge event and uh, it's par for the course for AEW, I guess, mm -hmm. to announce things sort of very late into the uh, into the the you know the coming of the pay per view. But at the same time, I. Don't, I think you're right, actually, to be honest. I don't, you are, I've got no rebuttal there. I appreciate you about to go, but at the same time, it's good that they've left their homework to the last minute, because it means they'll try harder and the handwriting will be more squiggly. Um, yeah, this is silly. That's a, it's, 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 you know what? I'm delighted they've sold out, the, uh, nearly sold yeah. out the stadium. Yeah, they've managed to do that without any matches announced, which is a huge, a they, huge thing for them. They could just flip us the big V and put on MJF versus QT Marshall at the main event. <laughs> so they could do. Trust you to trust us. <laughs> <laughs> An AEW star uh, reacted to some uh, creative criticism, not from us. Uh, this was from uh, I, I, Ibu. I, pronounce, I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong. It's Ibu, Ibu. Pro apologies. Uh, from WrestlePure who says kind of feels like the outcast story in AEW was a big waste of time obviously there's no controlling the hater injury we didn't get blood and guts out of it the whole surrounding division paused it feels very little was accomplished broadly in the first half of the year this was a tweet that was liked by Soraya oh. from the outcasts mm. and it furthers that opinion that is that has never gone away about the creative behind the women's division in AEW. Yeah, it d it did feel like sort of everything was going towards perhaps like a blood and guts match. Like here it was Jimmy here it was definitely sort of a huge factor of that storyline and for her to get injured and then uh, and drop the title as well. It does feel like things have stalled a little bit. I thought they might have had Britt Baker go on like a redemption for Jamie here go after the women's title but maybe fail to do so. Jamie comes back and she wins the belt and then there's maybe a bit of friction there but there's not been too much development i feel like in that it feels like they were really sort of uh, jamie hater was a huge part of their plans and now because she's injured they've kind of just gone to the wayside a little bit yeah maybe eventually we'll get the blood and guts match down the line this year when she when she does return but it's uh it's a shame it is a big shame that it's kind of just been like pushed to the side Nothing, yeah. Nothing's really come come of it too much. It's a really valid criticism, mm. and I think that there's 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 a lot of people that would, would won't hear a bad word against AEW that yeah. are probably sharpening their shivs in our general direction <laughs> oh, right no. now as we're talking about oh maybe AEW isn't the holy land and isn't the, isn't the greatest place on all. Uh, and you know what? They do a lot of stuff very well. Mm -hmm. They also do some stuff badly. Get used to it. It's a wrestling promotion. It's not a football team. All right. You don't need to. You know, there's. It's okay to accept that not everything is perfect in in Graceland. It's okay. Of WWE course. does some fantastic things, and they do some things yeah. that aren't great as well. Absolutely. That's the joy of the world. We're figuring it all out as we go along. We do.
We, I agree. We do, we do. Tell you what I love at the moment that can do no wrong, Impact Wrestling. <laughs> hey. Everything I said there is wrong. Impact is great. Don't even at me. <laughs> uh, they've announced the Multiverse United 2 main event. I think it'll be main event. Yeah, I think it will be mm. by the sounds of things. So in a video on AEW's Twitter, Impact World Champion Alex Shelley issued a challenge to Hiroshi Tanahashi for Impact Times New Japan Pro Wrestling Multiverse United 2 on August 20th. The match was made official on Impact last night as well. And now the show will take place from the world famous 2300 Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, otherwise known as the ECW Arena. The ECW Arena. Mm. Nice. Now, I'm up for this. They're this is gonna insane. have a good time. They're those gonna two. have such a good time. I can't wait for this. Mmm, give me that noise. Now Tanahashi had a match against MJF that I think left people feeling a little bit. Um, uh, it was a bit lackluster compared to what the rest of the card was. We know that Tanahashi is, has been working through uh, a lot of injuries over a very successful in-ring career. But mm. I do genuinely believe that, you know, when the lights are on in the right way, Alex Shelley and Hiroshi Tanahashi can make some magic. And I think they will. Uh, Multiverse United too. Uh, we're heading into what is going to be a really exciting sort of summer autumn season for Impact Wrestling. Multiverse United 2 on the horizon. Uh, Bound for Glory coming up later on. And of course, the UK invasion tour yeah which uh which dude i'm i'm buzzing for obviously Date, obviously 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 dates in glasgow newcastle call me Scott, and coventry <laughs> i'm really happy for them because it feels like things are picking up and there's always there always seems to be a buzz when either we talk about impact wrestling or you hear people on the internet talk about impact wrestling i'm always told so when we do the the twitch streams um, there's quite a few people in in there, the, some of the viewers who are adamant that Impact should be watched on a regular basis mm -hmm. because um, because just the wrestling is is absolutely it's prime prime beef rib rib prime beef good <laughs> good prime gravy good stuff yes. I like how right now you're watching going, hang on, you said that you shouldn't be traveled about wrestling, yet you spent the last four minutes talking about how perfect Impact Wrestling is. <laughs> to which we say, yep. <laughs> don't, don't, you know, know me, know me ways. <laughs> Don't follow us. <laughs> no, do follow us. Don't, don't follow. Don't, fo don't fo Yeah, follow us in the grander sense, but don't follow me home <laughs> with a shiv. Uh, this is my favorite story of the week, uh, and it comes uh, courtesy of the unsanctioned pro and Black Label Pro tag team champions, the Bang Brothers, Austin Matthews and Davey Bang. They have been very busy over the last couple of years on the indie scene. However, they have floated just enough above the, the water, just okay. above the parapet, yeah. to incur the wrath of adult film company Bang Bros <laughs> Inc. I don't know what Bang Bros is. I've never heard of it in my life. Listen to him. He knows I what it no is. I have no idea what Bang Bros is. It, I thought it was a video game. Uh, August and Davey shared on their respected Twitters a cease and desist letter sent by Bang Bros, uh, giving them a deadline to change their name and stop marketing themselves as Bang Bros or face legal action. Uh, Davey Bang says, damn, even after I subscribe to them, they still do this. <laughs> Who subscribes? <laughs> um, August Matthews, to whatever it is. August Matthews is offering anyone who comes to freelance wrestling pictures with the official season to assist for $10. Wow. They're making, <laughs> they're making the most out of the situation. The know? Bang Bros are going to make some bang. Yes, they certainly are. I thought the Bang Bros, I genuinely thought the Bang Bros, right, for the longest <laughs> time was some sort of silly bang cinematic <laughs> universe. <laughs> advert thing you know like uh, cleaner cleaner clothes the, the oh, was yes. it the Daz thing on uh, where on they made TV? a soap opera yeah, yeah. in the detergent commercial yes yeah yeah so I was like oh there must be some sort of like, cinematic <laughs> silly bang universe next door neighbors to Mr. Clean yeah yeah why not <laughs> why not I thought that as well honest well I think there's there's enough you know what for August uh, Davey if you guys happen to listen look it's so look, change your name uh, I think there's there's plenty of opportunity to come up with something different. I like the idea of of having them come out in um, in like an Uber type deal. Yeah. Um, paint it yellow like a New York one. Like a New York taxi. Like a New York one. But obviously you don't want anybody thinking it's a real taxi. So yeah. as long as you write fake taxi on the side, Ooh. that way nobody will, will, will get worried. They can drive that into the ring under their new name. 
I think that'll work fine. And I like the idea of them having a superhero sidekick, like a little mascot. Yeah. Like a little pet mascot, like mm. something like a guinea pig or a hamster. And he can have a little outfit on and it can be, can be X hamster. Cause he's got like, no? I mean, don't knock it till you've tried it. That's, that's don't knock it till you've tried it. Funny enough. Yeah. <laughs> We'll have more wrestling news throughout the day. <laughs> if you get the jokes, then go sit on the naughty step <laughs> at cultaholic.com. Case, case. Love you, bye. <laughs>